In this video, we are going to focus on graphs of quadratic functions. You will find this on page 242 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Graphs of quadratic functions, it's almost like a quadratic trinomial, if you can recall the expression. It's just Y equals that quadratic trinomial. So in section A, we learned that the graph of a linear function, actually in the previous video, y equals mx plus c, where the highest power of x was 1, is a straight line. In this section, we shall take a look at the graph of quadratic functions. Unlike linear graphs, which are straight lines, quadratic graphs are a family of curves called parabolas. The general form of the equation of a quadratic function is given by y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants, and a cannot be zero, otherwise that term will disappear. The simplest quadratic equation is y equals x squared, and it will look like this. It will touch this, the turning will point will be on the origin, zero, zero. So if you draw it, you're just going to write your x values, do substitution to find your y values, there I did it, and then just plot your points and draw your curve. Very important. You may not draw it with a ruler. You must draw it free-handed. Okay, now let us see what happens when we change the a value, that value in front of x squared. Say we make it 2, can you see what's happening there? I want to make it bigger that you can see better. So if you see that it was a 2, there's the 2, then it's almost like the legs just become closer towards the y-axis. And if we make it a half, there's the half, can you see? It becomes wider. It's more out. Okay. And what happens if we make it a negative? Just one. It flips. It's a reflection in the x-axis. It's, it's very good to have a picture of this like in your mind. So that if you see, um, say for example, uh, you see two, then you know it's going to become tighter, okay, or if you see that it's a fraction, it will become wider. So large values of A squash the curve inwards, okay, so maybe a better word is squash. Smaller values of A expand it outwards, okay, and negative values of A flip it upside down. A parabola is perfectly symmetrical. This is very important. That means if a, that y-axis in this case will be a line of reflection because this part will fit exactly on that part if I fold it on the y-axis. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so draw the graph of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is bigger than zero. The variables x and y are connected by the equation. Okay, some values of x and the corresponding values of y are given in the table, so actually quite a lot. So you just must find p. So calculate the value of p. All that I'm going to do, I'm going to take the equation, substitute in the place of x, I'm going to substitute that negative 1, and then p will be 9. Then on a sheet of graph paper, using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent one unit on the x-axis, just move it up a little bit, that you can see that. Okay, so there's the 1 centimeter, 1 unit. Um, and represent one unit on the y, actually the same on the y, and then plot it. And they want it just from there to there, so don't make it longer. You still start, but make sure, and this is very important, that you plot all the points. Don't skip any point. Okay, it's not like a straight line where you only need two or three points. If they give you the table, then you must plot all that points. And they, in the exam, they will check 
if you plot all the points to get full marks in that part. So use your graph in B to find the value of Y when X is 3.4. Okay, so when X is 3.4, there's X 3.4, I draw it up, and where it touch, I draw it, and it's 2. So Y will be 2. The value of X when Y is 3. So when Y is 3, then I draw it down, down, and I read. That value is 0.2. That value is 3.8. And then the coordinate of the minimum point. Now because this graph, and I'll show you now a picture. There's the picture. If the value of A is positive, the graph, it's almost like the legs will be upside down, like a smiley face. If you're positive, you're usually going to smile a lot. Okay, that's how you can remember it. So in this case, and then, then this graph will have a minimum point. Okay, so if the value of A is positive, then the graph will have a minimum point. And there, it's at that turning point. So what is the turning point? 2 and 0. The equation of the line of symmetry, it's, it's going through that turning point, and if it's only cutting the x-axis, then its x is equal to 2. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now this is a long question. I want you to stop the video. I want you to take graph paper. I actually gave you a hint just in the beginning to, to, to do your planning, but I'll explain to you. This hint. Okay, so that you can do this on your own in future examples. Okay, so stop the video, do number one, use graph paper. As soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, so let's see if we can already calculate and then we can just copy the table on the next side. So the variables x and y are connected by the equation y equals 2x squared plus 1, quadratic equation. Some values of x and the corresponding values of y are given in the table. Calculate the value of p. So y is equal to 2x squared plus 1. So that is going to say that y equals 2, negative 2 squared plus 1. And that's 2, and that is 4 plus 1. And that is 8 plus 1. And the value, what will be? Nine. Okay, so I can end up by saying, okay, therefore, therefore, the value of P, P will be, um, I just want to see this is four, this is two, um, oh, I, I see my mistake. Okay, sorry, I was just checking and then I realized the value is not working out. Did you see? I substitute that one, I got the 9. That is correct, but that's not the value of P. So actually, for the value of P, I must substitute, just correct it there, I must substitute that negative 1. And negative 1, it's 1. And then it's 2 plus 1, and that's 3. So therefore, the value of P will be equal to 3. Okay. And then they say, on a sheet of graph paper, using 2 centimeters to represent one unit on the x-axis and one for one on the y, draw the graph. Okay, now I'm going to go to my graph paper. Now... Okay, there is my graph. Before I start, I'm just going to copy that table from the previous page.
Okay, so oh, let's just go back. Oh, let's go back, back. So this is going to be x, this is going to be y, and my table was negative 2 and 9 and negative 1 and 3 and 0 and 1 and 1 and 3 and 2 and 9. Okay, so my table. Now, can I just show you my planning from the previous page? I must see that the x values go from negative 2 to 2. So it's actually the same on this side, same. So it will mean that that line will be in the middle. That's fine. I can take my graph paper, draw it in the middle, because it's the same amount to this negative side as to the positive side. Okay. And actually the same here, um, this table is going to go from 9. It's going to go from 9 to 9. Okay, so it's going to go from 9 to 9, but the lowest, so this is the highest point, 9, and actually the lowest point is 1. So that means I do not need negative y values. I just need positive. So that's why I can draw my graph here. I do not need that space. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm going to do it here in the middle. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. They see the lines better. Okay, and remember that is just going to be... Oh, sorry, it must be a ruler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. It's going to work. Okay, and then I'm going to draw it here. Okay, and then, okay, can move a little bit up, but that's all right. So I'm drawing my, my lines here. Okay, so this is going to be Oh, I want to take a, yes, no, let me take another color to stand out a little bit. This is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and this is going to be one, two, three. Negative one, negative two, negative three and that is all so it's actually only to two but I think this will work and now I'm just going now I can make it smaller again um, I can even go and say um, just get my color correct this is the x axis and this I can put the arrow this is the y axis okay I'm going to move it up to here and now I'm going to plot all that points. Don't leave out one. So it's going to be negative 2 and 9. Oh, I want to take red. So negative 2 and 9. Uh, negative 1 and 3. Um, zero and one. One and three. And again, I'm going to make it a bit bigger that I can see very clear that line. I think it's going to work like this. It's just that table. Okay, so let's just move and I can just see the table. Okay, so this is going to be one and 3. And this is going to be 2 and 9. Okay, now I'm going to draw that line. Now it's, it's a bit more difficult with my technology. 
ok? Um, Okay, I'm going to see if I can do this point a little bit better. I want to redo that one. Um, let's just make this, and as I said, I think for you, you can turn the paper. Always turn the paper when you do the drawing, it helps a little bit. So for mine, it's in, use a smooth hand. So, and then, Okay, yeah, I think this will work. And then I write down the equation, and what was the equation? Y equals 2x squared plus 1. Okay, and now I'm going to start with the questions. Okay, so I read the questions for you, and we're going to work on the graph. So we plotted everything, make sure it's not longer, you start there, you draw your curve, 300, not ruler. So use your graph to find the value of Y, when x is minus 1.5. So go to x, it's minus, is it negative 1.5? Yes. So it's negative 1.5, so it's going to be here. I just want to make it a bit bigger that we can see. Now it will work like this again. So it's going to be negative 1.5, so it's going to be here. And um, it's going to be here. And it, it will differ a little bit, but they look on your graph. If your graph is accurate enough, then they will look on it. So this one is one, so every, it's two. So it looks like, in this case, it's going to be 5.4. And I'm going to just answer it here. And that was question CI. And that will be y equals 5.4. Okay. So the next one, um, so the value of x when y is 4, the value, okay, now y is 4, so I draw my line there. Yes. Okay, so then I'm just going to do this one, and I'm going to then just read it down. So therefore, let's look at number two. Okay, so I'm just going to, this is the second one. And then I'm just going to get negative one point, um, it looks like, yeah, it can be negative one point, because remember, here it counts one, because it's, every block is counting one. There every block is counting 0 0.2. Here every block is not counting one, every small block is counting 0 0.1. So there is negative one, negative 1.1, negative 1.2, negative, it looks like um, x equals negative 1.25 and x equals and here let's just check this one negative 1 uh, and it's 1.25 so uh, let's just the negative is not very clear here so let's just do it better so it's negative 1.25 and x is 1.25. And then the next question, um, okay, we're for the coordinates of the minimum point. So what will be the minimum point? 
Um, in this case, it's going to be there. It was not so clear on my graph, it, you can see. So you can take a rubber, do it always in pencil, just make that point a little bit better. And I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make it a little bit better because it was supposed to be here. Okay, so there's your turning point. So what will be your turning point, the coordinates of your turning point? It will be 0 and 1. Okay, and then the last one, number 4, the equation of the line of symmetry. Now this is the line of symmetry. Can you see? It's on the y-axis. And what is the, then it will be the equation is x, not y, but x is equal to 0. And that's a basic quadratic equation graph.